This week on Machine Repeat TV, a trio of big red machines topped the bill at this Denison, Iowa auction, and no surprise, this 8950 blew the doors off the previous record price. This Super 77 finally returns to the family farm. And the price records fall like dominoes in what Pete says is the hottest used market he's ever seen. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Repeat TV. This week coming to you from beautiful Denison, Iowa. Now, as you can maybe see here, we are gonna watch some beautiful red tractor sell today including a 1997 KSH 8950 Magnum that the owner, Dean Argetson, called me for advice about buying years ago. Now, before we watch these babies sell, uh, we gotta go back to the studio and catch up on the very latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. The ag machinery market is expected to remain hot in 2023. That's according to new analyst forecasts. According to Reuters, analysts at Moody's believe Precision agriculture equipment is going to see the highest growth for John Deere. They're predicting a 36% year-over-year increase in revenue for that sector of the company's business. Now, this as the industry struggles through supply chain challenges, including computer chip shortages, now, Deere has said they expect these challenges to continue through this year. Something to keep an eye on as we move into harvest, natural gas prices. This week, U.S. Natural gas futures for September delivery topped $10 per million British thermal unit. That's up more than 20% this month and more than twice the price a year ago. In fact, prices haven't been that high since 2008. As Americans enter fall tailgating season, expect to pay more. That's according to a new report from Wells Fargo. The prices of a number of tailgating essentials have gone up due to inflation. Gas costs more, of course, and airfare is up 28% since last year. Beer is up nearly 5% since last July, and groceries overall are up about 13%. To save some money, some are opting for hot dogs or pork ribs, which aren't up as much as chicken or ground beef. Now let's check on some recent auctions from around the country. Now back to our host, Machinery Pete. Stay with us folks, coming up, you're not gonna wanna miss a beautiful pre-DAF, pre-tier four tractor cell, this 2010 Case Magnum 245. It's got 3,486 hours on it. Folks, I'm here with auctioneer John Shaven with Shaven Auction Service. And John, uh, nice little retirement sale we got here today. Oh, it is. Uh, you know, I, we were visiting before. It's this is one of the real good ones. Um, a true retirement. Uh, both Dean and his wife Beth have worked hard their whole life, and uh, getting a chance to going to enjoy retirement a little bit. Rented out some land to some younger farmers. I mean, the whole thing sounds good to me. And then, and then on top of obviously a really nice uh, lineup of equipment all the way through here to, yeah. to merchandise. Smaller retirement auctions like this, uh, John. Boy, there's just not as many of them as there used to be, are there? You know, well, the truth of it is, there's less. There's, I mean, that, it's a trend we've seen for what, since the 20s? I mean, uh, 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 less less uh, people in agriculture. The, the volume still, see, we're, we're producing more grain than we ever had. Our cattle volume has been good and all those things, but we're dealing with a few less people. So, so when uh, several years where you would have several auctions, 
but some of those you know weren't always under the best conditions right. so so uh, uh we don't um we don't kick our feet that we're not having very many yeah. we're darn happy when we get one like right. this well, folks, you know me, Mr. Auction Price Guy, Mr. Data Guy. Now, you want an interesting stat. How about this? The two highest auction prices ever on KSH Magnum 245s with over 3,000 hours, both came on the same day, December 10th of 2021. We saw one go for 99.5 in Minnesota and one for 95,000 in Iowa. And today, we're going to watch a 2010 Magnum 245 with 3,486 hours sell. 16 now, 17, 18, 800, 118 down, 118, 800, 18, 800, 19, 19, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, 21, 800, I'm right back here. 124, 125, 124, Hundred twenty nine, hundred twenty nine thousand, hundred twenty eight nine, hundred twenty nine. Last call. I have sold it. One hundred twenty eight thousand four five seven. Well, folks, almost one year ago exactly, on a consignment auction in Northeast Indiana, a two thousand eight Case H Magnum two fifteen with thirty one hundred thirty hours on it sold for ninety three thousand bucks. Now, on our auction today here in Denison, Iowa. We have another 08 Magnum 2015. A few more hours, 4891. Yes. 81,000. Yes. here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. I have. Anybody else? 7,500, 7,500, 7,500. I have sold it. $7,000. Eleven. Got to be 11. 11,000. 11,000. 11,000. 10 pound for it. 10 pound for it. 10 pound for it. I have sold it. 9750. 15,000, 15,000, 15,000, 15,000, 15,000, 15,000. You want to get 15? Anybody else get 15? I have sold it 14. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out The Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machine Repeat's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerypeat.com and click on the Auction tab, then Auction Price Data. Well, folks, in my 32 plus years tracking auction sale prices, I've just never seen anything like this. Nothing close. Prices on good used tractors, they're going higher by the day. In a five day span last week, I saw five new record high auction sale prices on John Deere tractors. 
We saw this John Deere 4240 open station go for $47,500. And on the same sale, this 1986 John Deere 4650, just over 4,000 4, hours, went for $60,500. Next day, this 2003 John Deere 8420T on a sale in North Dakota, 2,700 plus hours, went for $112,000. That broke a record that stood for 17 years. The next day on an auction in Indiana, this 2011 John Deere 7530 Premium, 1,900 plus hours on it, went for 167,000 bucks, broke the record by a mere 49K. And then uh, two days later on an auction in Indiana, this 1990 John Deere 4955 two wheel drive, 2,499 hours went for 70K. But we're not gonna focus on any of those because last week on one day on two auctions, I saw four more record prices on New Holland tractors. So let's go to Tullahoma, Tennessee, where this T5050, 2,570 hours with a loader, went for 44,000 bucks. That same day, last Saturday, in Indiana, they had three more record prices on New Holland's, including this 2009 T8010, 1,386 hours, went for 120. This 2012 T7235, 551 hours, went for 1065, and this 2015 T5-115 with a loader, 439 hours, went for 68K. So folks, right now, doesn't matter what color that tractor is or where it sells, the prices are going up, up, up. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. Come along with me this week. We're gonna head to Illinois for a really cool family story on an Oliver Super 77. The tractor you're looking at is a 1956 Oliver Super 77. It was bought brand new in 57 by my great grandpa Herbert Colbert. It was used on the farm. It was the uh, first tractor on this farm that had hydraulics on it. It was bought for the main reason of my great grandpa had terrible arthritis and couldn't trip the cultivator lever. And my grandpa at the time was in seventh grade and wasn't hardly big enough to pull on a trip lever either. So they found a tractor with some hydraulics and it was used until it got parked. It sat parked in a shed until about 2004, and my grandpa was either scrap it or move it on down the road, and, and my grandpa gave it away to a neighbor down the road, and uh, 2005, he restored it and added it to his collection, and I knew where the tractor was sitting at, and every time I drive by, I think one of these days I'm gonna get that tractor back, and uh, it wasn't too long before we got a phone call that said he was gonna sell them, and I said, well, it needs to come here and uh, so it got the chance to come back home. You could almost call it a one owner tractor, just the guy who restored it got to hang on to it and enjoy it for a while. So I have a little boy who's two years old and, and I sure would like to see him drive around on it one day. So uh, that, would make the, that would make the fifth generation of somebody on this family farm that's drove that tractor. So I'd be more than happy to see it still running, still running in a few more years and, and, and on, to, on down the line. Folks, don't turn that dial. Coming up, we have Classic Red Power, the feature tractor on our show today. Dean's 1997 Case IH 8950. It's got 5,677 hours on it. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Well, folks, the owner, Dean Argetson, has been a Case H Magnum fan for a long time. And in fact, when I talked to him before the auction, he brought up a one that sold on a recent auction that I had blogged about. Now, it was just 70 miles east of here in Ogden, Iowa back at the end of November 21 and it was a 97 model KSH 8940, 4330 hours, one for 97.5 which was an all-time record price on 8940, beat the record from 11 years ago by 5500 bucks. Now today our feature, a magnum on the sale today is Dean's 97 8950, 5677 hours.
How about 50? At 50 now. At 51. At 51, 2. At 53, 3. At 34, 5. At 55, 6. Now, at 107. At 57, 9. At 108, 9. At 108, 9. 6. At 61, 1, 2, 2. At 102, 2, 2. At 2, 3. At 103, 3, 4, 4. At 105. At 65, 6. At 166,000. 66,000. Here, 166 down 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 here, down Oh, and now two, and now two, and now three, and now four, and now five, and now five. Austin, you're out both spots. 74 and five. It's 74 and five. I'm right down here. 74 and five. It's 74 and five. Get on to get them five. Get on to get them 74 and five. 75,000. 75,000. 75,000. So there's no confusion. The bid's to my left corner. 75,000. 75,000. I have. Sold Well, folks, I thought we were going to see awful strong bidding on our feature item on the sale today, the 97 KSH 8950 Magnum, 5,677 hours. 74,000 bucks, I tell you what, that is very strong. The highest auction price ever coming into the sale today on an 8950 with over 5,000 hours was 62K. Well, folks, I think this is my favorite ever ask machine repeat question. And I got it just the other day. Someone said, hey, Pete, over your shoulder behind you on your desk, who is that a picture of? And that's actually my late grandfather, Comrade Peterson, passed away in 1980 at the age of 73. I was 14 years old at the time. So let me take you back now and tell you a family story, uh, show you how my family got involved in the farm equipment business. And my, my grandfather, Comert, let's go back to the year 1920, up in Little Tolly, North Dakota, in the northwest part of the state. It was population 177 people at the time. Uh, my grandfather went to the one-room schoolhouse. He was 13 years old. And one day, his father, my great-grandfather, George Peterson, came up, pulled him out of the one-room schoolhouse, and had a question to ask him, and said, Son, I have a chance to buy into the local uh, farm equipment implement dealership. Um, but I'll only do it if you agree to help me. Now you see my late grandfather, great grandfather George was a blacksmith, had no formal schooling, so when it came to keeping the books, he was asking his son, my grandfather, to help, and uh, my grandfather comrade said, yeah, Dad, I, I will help you. Um, now here's a picture of the, of the dealership from Main Street, Tolly, North Dakota there, and my great grandfather George was going into business with his half-brother Rasmus Miller. Now you can see right on the implement uh, store there, it said they sold uh, windmills, automobiles, threshing machines, and farm equipment. I believe they sold Dodge automobiles. And how about that? Right on the building, it says, Ask Miller. Now, uh, life is amazing. Here we are over 100 years later. I'm in season nine of our Machine Repeat TV show, and we have a segment called Ask Machine Repeat. And we're looking at this building from Little Tolly, North Dakota, over 100 years ago, Ask Miller. Here's a picture from inside the dealership. My, my grandfather, when he was a young buck, uh, they were keeping the books. And again, you can see above the Dodge sign, they sold Dodge automobiles, which, again, life works in amazing ways. I drive my Ram pickup happily around the country, covering auctions all these years. And uh, my grandfather actually went on to be a dealer and then went to work for Deer Corporate, wound up uh, running the Portland, Oregon branch for Deer, and then ran the European division for a number of years and actually wound up on the board of directors for Deers in the 1960s. And sometimes I sit and wonder um, what my grandpa would think of this machinery peat biz that I've built all these years. And I think I know the answer. I think he'd say, way to go. And I know he's had a, a bird's eye seat all these years. Well, folks, I hope you had fun today at the auction here in Dennis and Iowa. Red hot bidding on the beautiful red tractors. 
$74,000 on that 89.50. That's the fourth highest auction price ever on an 8950. And how about that Magnum 245? 3,486 hours at 128. The previous high I'd ever seen on a 245 with over 3,000 hours was 99.5. Hey, tune in here next week back to Machinery Pete TV. We'll have some more auction prices for you to talk about. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com.